So this hiding, this keeping of, the, of their image. Znači ovo skrivanje, ovo održavanje sobstvene slike kontinuira. Totally exhausts them. Potpuno ih iznuruje. And distracts their mind. I ovaj ometa njihov um. And they cannot concentrate in anything else. Tako da ne mogu da se koncentrišu ni u čemu drugom. They cannot concentrate their mind. Ne mogu da se skoncentrišu. On anything useful. Na bilo što korisno. Ne mogu da usmere svoj um na bilo što korisno. The only thing how they have to show the others that they are angels. Sve vreme ovaj samo ne pameti kako da ovaj održi sliku za druge o svo o tome da su anđeli odnosno sveci. So they become very closed and they do not talk. Postaju vrlo zatvoreni, ne razgovaraju. They feel very bad in company. Osjećaju se jako loše u društvu. And they begin to answer in monosyllables. I počinju i daju odgovore u slogovima. Which means with yes and no. Jednosložne odgovore. Da ili ne. Sa da ili ne. Odgovaraju jednoslužno sa da ili ne. And at the end this suppression of their natural emotions and instincts. Na kraju potiskivanje ovih njihovih sobstvenih prirodnih emocija i instikata may lead to to uh, develop do, psychology of a criminal do ovaj uh, razvoj psihologije kriminalca because because they are not able je nisu mogućnosti to control da kontrolišu their inner impulses svoje unutrašnje porive They go down in a deep depression. Zapadaju u duboke depresije. Because they constantly repeat in their mind. Jer stalno ponavljaju u svom umu. I am a sin, sinar, I am a sinar, I am a sinar. Ja sam grešnik, grešnik sam. And on the other side they show to the to the people. I'm not a sinner. I'm not a sinner. I'm not a sinner. Dok isto vremeno ljudima u okruženju i spolje pokazuju nisam grešnik, nisam grešnik. Which leads him to a very deep depression. Što ga vodi ka dubokoj depresiji. With suicidal thoughts. Sa samoubistvenim mislima. Sa mislimo o samoubistvu. As you have already suggested. Kao što ste već i rekli. Because he cannot find the solution of his inner conflict. Jer ne može da nađe rješenje za svoje unutrašnje konflikte, sukobe. So... This kalium remedy. Tako da ove kalium roman, lek kalium romatum. This kalium remedy. Aha, ove kalium oblek. Is more different. Is different than the other kalis. Je različiti, različiti su odnosu na ostale kalije. Because usually they teach us. That kalis are such and such and such and such. Jer uobičajeno nas uče da su kali ovakvi, ovakvi, ovakvi. And this, this, this remedy contains the main features of kalis. 
I ovaj lek sadrži glavne osobine kalija. But it is quite different. Ali je istovremeno i potpuno drugačiji. They can be become completely crazy and violent. Može da može da bude potpuno lud i divlji. Which is not which is not common for the kalium remedies. Što nije uobičajeno za za seriju kalium lekova. This is one of the remedies which would be very often necessary to be to be to be used in the psychiatric clinics. Ovo je jedan od lekova koji se često, koji bi često trebalo koristiti na psihiatrijskim klinikama. The same is for cuprum. Isto je sa sa cuprumom. Veratrum album. Veratrum album. Stramonium. Stramonium. Hyoscyamus. Hyoscyamusum. This may be one of the craziest remedies. Ovo može da ovo je možda jedan od najluđih lekova. But in general, if we think about kalium, we we think, oh, kalium cannot be crazy, cannot be mad. That kalium ne može da bude lud. To je deo. He always, he never loses his reason. Nikad ne gubi razum. He never loses control. Ne gubi kontrolu. He is very responsible. Vrlo je odgovoran. But this this is not the case with kalium bromatum. Ali što nije slučaj sa kalium bromatum. Their look their Their gaze, their eyes, very, very frequently look very anxious and guilty. Njihove oči, njihov pogled često izgleda zabrinut i sa osjećajem krivice. The issue the sexual the sexual issue tema seksualnosti or any seksualnosti or any sexual symptoms ili bilo koji seksualni simptomi again lead to the guilty feeling ono vode ka osjećaju krivice In the meantime, they have a very strong sexuality. U među vremenu imaju ovaj vrlo jaku seksualnost, izraženu seksualnost. Which in the syphilitic state? Koji u sifilističnom stanju? Turns to impotenciju. Pretvara u impotenciju. Prelazi u impotenciju. These may be people. Ovo mogu biti ljudi. Which are well known. Koji su dobro poznati. In the society. U društvu. As a very strong people with strong moral feelings. Kao jaki ljudi sa jakim moralnim osjećanjima. Strong morality. 
strong, uh, virtuous. And at the same time, indeed, they are criminals hiding themselves when they, they perform a criminal action. Especially sexual crimes. They can be sadistic. They are uh, prone to any perversions. Connected with sexual violence. So they, be, because of suppression of the sexual power, there are moments when they cannot control it. And they become perverse criminals. In the society they are the most moral people and uh, with the best virtues. The guilty feeling uh, gets stronger because of their sexual fantasies which may be related with uh, some relative of them. Like sister, mother, father, cousin, And now try to imagine this poor pers person who has been educated that even the, the most common sexual action is the biggest crime on earth. Try to imagine in the moment when he feels a sexual, sexual impulse towards uh, his relative. Try to, to, to feel and to understand the guilty feeling which he will develop. And the fear of being punished by God. Which is the key note of the remedy. And of course this is a result of the suppression. Conscious suppression. Conscious suppression. The stronger the suppression is, the more per perverse the, the desires become. Perverse. Yes. And a lot of religions uh, have a, a great deal in uh, creating such people.
So at a certain moment when they become suspicious, tako da u određenom momentu kad postanu sumnjičavi, they begin, begin to look around. Počinju da se osvrću oko sebe. Uh, subconsciously. Nesvesno, potpuno nesvesno. Because they are afraid that somebody is watching them. Jer se plaše da ih neko posmatra. They constantly have the feeling that they are doing something wrong. Stalno imaju osjećanje da nešto pogrešno rade, da ne rade kako treba. Which is not mentioned in the repertory. Što na, o što nije spomenuto u repertorijumu. Which is a big miss in that rubric. Što je veliki nedostatak i o, te rubrike. So they think that uh, they constantly they think that whatever they do Tako da stalno misle da što god da rade je zločin. That nothing is allowed to them. Da njima ništa nije dozvoljeno. Even when, if they go to the cinema Čak i ako odu u bioskop they try to, to not to say to anybody especially to their parents uh, uh, pokušavaju da ne kažu nikome gde idu naročito ne roditeljima because this is a crime. Jer je to zločin. So they are not allowed to, 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 to relax, to, to have some enjoy, enjoyment in life. Nije im dozvoljeno da se opuštaju, da imaju bilo kako zadovoljstvo u životu. They have been taught that every enjoyment has to be paid. Uh, učeni su da svako zadovoljstvo se plaća. Do you understand me? Da li me razumete? Every enjoyment svako zadovoljstvo is a crime. je zločin. In the end, they begin na kraju oni počinju they stop to feel enjoyment in, in anything u stvari, prestanu da osjećaju uh, zadovoljstvo u bilo čemu and they do not have any desires. I nemaju nikakvih želja. They, they lose connection with themselves. Potpuno gube kontakt sa sobom. They don't know what do they want. Više ne znaju šta hoće, šta žele. Because they have suppressed their desires. Zato što su potisnuli sve svoje želje. They have been taught that the only thing which is allowed to them is to work. Učeni su da jedino što im je dozvoljeno to je da, da rade. Rad radi samo rad. They would be punished for anything else. Za sve ostalo bit će kažnjeni. They would be punished that they exist. Bit će kažnjeni i samo zato što postoje. So that at a certain moment they develop the feeling that they would commit a crime. U određenom trenutku oni razviju osjećanje da će izvršiti zločin. A big crime. Veliki zločin. For instance, they think that they would kill their husband or the child. <laughs> Misle da će ubiti, na primjer, supruga, suprugu ili dete. What happens is very interesting. Ono što se dešava je jako interesantno. The fear that they would commit a crime is so big, so great. Strah da će počiniti zločin je toliko jak i toliko velik. And become stronger and stronger. I postaje sve jači i jači. So that at the end, da na kraju, they commit the biggest crime. Oni uh, u stvari počine najveći uh, zločin or the most perverse crime ili najizopačeniji zločin najperverzniji mogući zločin for instance the mother will, would kill her child na primjer majka će ubiti dete
Hiding is a keynote of the psychotic miasm. Скриване е основна карактеристика сикотичното миазма. Hiding, masking, compensating. Значи скриване, маскиране и компензация. This is a psychotic miasm, psychotic remedy. Тоа е сикотичен миазм, сикотичен лек. Which can become syphilitic. Кој може да постане сифилистичен. So this is a psychotic syphilitic remedy. Dakle, da je ovo psychotično sifilistički lek. Some of the parents may develop a very strong fear that they would throw their children under the bus. Neki roditelji mogu da razviju strah da će gurnuti decu pod autobus ili pod tramvaj ili pod voz. They may very often have the phenomena which we call déjà vu. Često se ovaj ih javlja fenomen déjà vu, već viđeno. The delusion that they have already. Deluzija da su. That they have already. Had experienced. This particular moment in their life, they have experienced it in the past somewhere. Efekat da su u ovaj moment, ovaj sadašnji trenutak svog života iskusili u nekom prošlom vremenu. Već iskusili u nekom prošlom vremenu. Are you tired? These are things that you will not find find out very easily. Ovo su stvari o kojima smo sada razgovarali koje nećete tako lako naći. Pronaći. Their parents begin to punish them for the for the least trifles. Tako da kad roditelji počinju da ih kažnjavaju za najmanju sitnicu. They begin to develop their pathology at that time. U tom trenutku oni počinju da razvijaju svoju patologiju. Especially if this happens again and again. Naročito ako se to ponavlja. They this leads makes them develop their keynote. Ovaj vodi ih ka razvijanju ključnih karakteristika. That delusion that he was chosen for for God's punishment. Da je on izabran za Božju kaznu. Deluziju da je on izabran za Božju kaznu.
God's vengeance. Božju osvetu. Because he 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 feels his life is horrible, terrible. Jer osvetu da je njegov život užasan. They cannot relax for a moment. Da ne može da se opusti ni za trenutak. And he says, oh God has chosen me. I onda kaže, Bog mi je izabrao. To power, to, to, to pour on his anger. Da bi na mene sasluo svoj bez. On a physical level, on a physical level, one of the main keynotes of the remedy, jedan od osnovnih karakteristika leka, is acne. Su acne. This is maybe the the greatest remedy for acne. Ovo je možda najveći lek za lečenje acne. Horrible acne in children without any other clear symptoms. Znači, ono je užasan oblik acne kod dece bez bilo kojih drugih simptoma, pratičih simptoma. Will often be cured by kalium bromatum. Često će biti izlečene uzimanjem kalium bromatuma. Their acne is especially strongly expressed on the forehead. U naročito jako izražene acne na čelu. It may be in its most malignant form. I tu i mogu biti i ovaj izražene u svom najžešćem obliku. Malignant. Malignant. When you say malignant here, you don't mean actually malignant, but in the form of it, it's. Malignant. Help. Malignant. But you, for me, it's enough if you confirm that you don't mean actually malignant, like a cancer malignant. You don't mean that. Uh huh. Yes, it is. It is actually malignant. Malignant. Malignant acne, which is. It is horrible. Da, u užasnom obliku, užasne akne. U teškom obliku, akne u teškom obliku. It may be akne in women before menses. Također to mogu da budu akne kod žena pred menses. Especially if there are no other clear indications. Naročito ako ne postoji drugih jasnih indikacija. Simptoms. Simptoma. Most often the the remedy will be the chronic remedy will be kalium bromatum. Najčešće će ovaj lek biti kalium bromatum. Don't ask me this. Nemojte me ovo više pitati. Ovo pitanje. Begin with the highest available. Uvek počnite sa najvećom raspoloženom koju imate potenciju. Cijelo zanimljivo što ovo priča. These are usually hot blooded patients. Obično toplokrvni pacijenti. They aggravate by heat. Pogoršanje imaju od toplote, vrućine. They aggravate during summer. Imaju pogoršanje u toku leta. They aggravate in hot rooms. Imaju pogoršanje u toplim prostorijama, sobama. And similarly to the other kali remedies, i slično ostalim kaliumovim lekovima, they aggravate around 2 a.m. Imaju pogoršanje oko 2 ujutru. Another part of their physical pathology, drugi deo njihove fizičke patologije, is being expressed as choreic 
movements, horaic. Je kroz horaicne pokrete. Especially if they were if they appeared after shock. Mental shock. Naročito ako se pojave posle mentalnog šoka. Or if they developed after a fright. Ili ukoliko se razviju posle straha. And especially during puberty. A naročito tokom puberteta. Može neko da pojasni što su to horeični pokreti? Here, this is... Nekontrolisani, nevoljni. Dobro, ok. You have seen such people, eh? Yeah. On the streets. Yeah. Nevoljne, kroz nevoljne pokrete. So they began to hear, to, to feel... Movements and twitchings and tremblings of muscles. Tako da počinju da osjećaju pokrete, trešenje, which are involuntary, which are involuntary. Mišića koji su van kontrole, ne, bez bez nevoljni. They begin to 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 perform involuntary movements. Tako da počinju sa nekontrolisanim pokretima. Because of these twitchings of muscles. Zbog trzanja mišića. Later on they can develop Parkinson's disease. Kasnije mogu da razviju Parkinsonovu bolest. And this is one of the greatest remedies for Parkinson's disease. I ovo je jedan od najvećih lekova za Parkinsonovu bolest. They may develop nephritis. Mogu da razviju nephritis. And this is a remedy for the most developed nephritis cases. I ovo je lek za najrazvijenije stupnjeve nephritisa. The patient usually feels heavy and heavy and. Sleepy. Pacient se obično osjeća teško i pospano. He may develop convulsions and epilepsy. Može da razvije ove napade i epilepsiju. And the allopathic medicine has always used calium calium brumatum. I alopatska medicina je uvek koristila kalium bromatum u alopatskim dozama da bi kontrolisala epileptične napade. Jer alopatske doze kalium bromatum je uvek koristila kalium bromatum u alopatske doze movements and crisis. Jer alopatske doze kalium bromatuma imaju visok procenat supresije ovih nekontrolisanih pokreta. And the key note i ključna karakteristika za epilepsiju in women kod žena is that the fits have a very strong relation with their menses. Da, ove napadi imaju jaku vezu sa ciklusom. They may appear before mogu da se jave pre or during ili za vreme the menstrual cycle. Ciklusa. Menstrualnog ciklusa. The allopathic doses of calium bromatum 
read the epileptics to to complete dullness of mind. Dovedu epileptičara do potpune obemrlosti uma. And to tuposti, otupelosti uma. Yes, complete dullness and foolishness of mind. Znači potpuna ovaj tuposti i ludosti uma. The brain activity gets totally blocked. Aktivnost mozga bude potpuno blokirana. And their their eyes become their look when you look in the in their in the in the eyes them in the eyes you will see that they they look in the vein empty empty. Njihov pogled je potpuno prazan. Or they use this calcium bromatum to control to control the violence in some violent patients. Ove također koriste psychiatric clinics. Također koriste calcium bromatum, alopatski calcium bromatum u određenim psihijatrijskim klinikama da bi kontrolisali divlje ponašanje pacijenata. It immediately. Nasilno ponašanje pacijenata. It immediately makes them fall asleep. Oni trenutno ovi zapadaju u san. In allopathic doses. Kada se znači kamen bromatum koristi u allopatskim dozama. Another feature of their epileptic fits. Druga karakteristika epileptičnih napada. Is that their epilepsy gets aggravated at new moon. Da, epileptični napadi se pogoršavaju u toku full moon. New moon. Mladog meseca. Kao da je koji? Mladog meseca. U toku mladog meseca. And very often the epileptic fit is followed by... New moon. To je mlad mesec. And... And very often the epileptic fit is followed by a horrible headache. I ovaj vrlo često se taj epileptički napad je pračen strašnom glavoboljom. Before the epileptic fit, they may have the feeling. Pre napada mogu imati osjećanje that the whole body gets swollen. More and more and more. Da se telo naduvava sve više i više. This is their epileptic aura. To je njihova epileptična aura. As a whole, the the remedy may have any kind of numbness. Sve u svemu, ovaj lek može da ima na bilo kakvu vrstu tuposti. This is one of the greatest remedies for any kind of numbness anywhere. Ovo je jedan od najvećih lekova za bilo koju vrstu utrnulosti bilo gde na telu. Even the whole body may be numb. Čak i celo telo može da bude utrnuto. Because the allopathic substance, the allopathic jer alopatska komponenta doza has immediate effect of numbness all over the world all over the body ima trenutni efekt utrnosti utrnutosti po celom telu and dullness of the senses i ovaj otupelost čula this remedy kills kills the senses the senses Jednostavno ubija osjećanja. Čula, da. Izvinjam se. Uh, I think we have to stop.
So tomorrow after after the live case we will go on with Kalyan Burmatu. There are a lot of interesting things which I will teach you. Tišina. Molim za tišinu. So, please, would you please tell me your name? Hoćete li mi molim vas reći vaše ime? Vesna Gajić. Vesna Gajić. Da. Vesna Gajić. Date of birth? Datum rođenja. 18.5.1948. Adres? Adresa gde živite? Beograd, Dečanska, 21. Belgrad. Telefon nama? Broj telefona? 323-6650. E-mail, adres? Ili imate e-mail, adresa? Nema. No. Profession? Zanimanje? Službenik. Employee. Employee. So try to speak both of you loud and clear so that everybody can hear everything to the last row, everybody. Dobro, da li, da li svi čujete? Vesna, would you please tell me all your complaints, everything that bothers you, all your problems? Vesna, hoćete li mi molim vas reći sve na što se žalite, sve što vam smeta, sve vaše probleme koje imate? Pa, mislim, imam ih dosta, pre svega imam bronkijalnu lastu koja je potvrđena. I have a lot of problems, first of all. I have bronchial asthma that has been diagnosed. Imam probleme sa mišićima, kostima. Bila sam kod reumatologa. I have problems with muscles and with bones and I went to reumatologist. Na snimku se vidi da imam artrozu. Uh, X-rays has proved that I have a chosa. Uh, She has two cysts that the doctor said it could go into rheumatoid arthritis. Is it possible that they raise the da li je moguće da zovete da pojača
This problem, I feel, is always when there is a change in weather. Especially when it's wet, humid weather. Autumn and the springtime when the middle temperature, where the temperature changes, not done, and especially day and night changes. It's in autumn and during the springtime. And all the symptoms are aggravating during any physical or psychological effort, stress, mental stress. Exertion. Exertion. Okay. Imam problem i sa sinusima, snimala sam ih, ali na snimku nema nekih naročitih. I have a problem with the sinuses. I x-ray them, but the x-ray didn't show any particular problems or changes. Yes? Međutim, oral specijalista mi kaže da veliki problemi kod mene dolaze od nosa. But doctor for otorinolaryngologist said that all of the problems and most of the problems are caused by the nose. Yes. I Out of blue, I just start. Uh, out of blue, for no reason, for no reason, I had. I'm getting this feeling of um, uh, squeezing in the head, and then I feel uh, squeezing. Squeezing like. Yes, but really inside, squeezing. really squeezing. Yeah. Uh, just a moment. And it is, I feel, a high pressure. And if I do something, I have to leave it and sit down. I feel a tremor like if my heart is beating. She tremors. Tremors like if the heart is beating. She feels tremors or she 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 is trembling. No, she is not trembling, but she feels inside as if she is trembling within the whole body. So. She feels internal trembling of the whole body. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Just a moment. So she feels internal trembling of the whole body and and uh, and a very uh, weak heart beating. And uh, yes, palpitation. Palpitation. Yes, and? She went to cardiologist and everything is within the normal. It happened sometimes that when I fell asleep that, that some kind of like a suffocating is waking me up. And very often I have a dry cough. And that especially happens uh, towards the morning, around four o'clock in the morning, and I would sit, I would find myself sitting in a bed. Uh, coughing until I just have some very uh, little well, quantity of expector expectoration. <coughs> I don't know what else. Do you have any other problems? Yeah, we might have any other problems. 
in your life. Ne bi to, možda ja to grešim, ja živim sama s detetom. Yes, I have a problem, but maybe I make a mistake, I live alone with the child. Just a moment. Yes? Plate su na male. No, please don't speak together. Okay. Well, one is speaking. The other is quiet. Yeah, please, because otherwise I do not understand anything. Okay. Sorry. So, I have problems. Maybe I make a mistake. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. What does it mean? Možda grešim, ali mislim da ova bolest nema veze sa... Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that my disease has nothing to do with these problems. When she said maybe I'm wrong, she actually meant that she thinks that it is... Maybe she's wrong, but she thinks that disease does not... Her state is... Yes, yes, I understood it. So, do you have any other problems in your life, anything? Uh, what, what I did? What, what you, uh, uh, anything which you would like to be resolved? Uh, just a moment, I didn't finish your translation okay. from previous. She said that the, the income is very low and uh, that she's having existential problems like most of the people around yes. these days. Okay. Daddy. Is there anything else? Ima još nešto? Pa uglavnom mi se ti problemi svakodnevno pojavljuju. Ja jednostavno ne mogu da izdržim i da radim i sve ove poslove po kući posle da završim. Iako radim četiri sata, zvraćam. These problems I have almost every day. I can't... Stand. I don't have enough strength to work and then to have all the obligation at home, even though that I work only four hours. Simply, I don't have enough strength to do it all. Dešava mi se, na primer, kad stojim u sudoperu sat vremena, perem sudove, završavam poslove, da posle toga ne mogu lepo da osjećam bol u desnoj nozi, dole i to jak ide od krsta i jednostavno moram da legnem. It happens that when I stand at the wash basin doing the dishes or something, standing there for one hour, and after that, I have a terrible pain in my right foot, and that is coming from the lower back. Yeah, just a moment. So the pain comes? Comes from the lower back. Yes? And then I have to sit down or lay down. I, I can't do anything more. Yes. On the osjećam ovaj kad je promena vremena, naročito pri tišu trnjenje u rukama, nekad i dole. Especially when uh, the rain is, I feel. Um, before the rain comes, I feel trnjenje. Numbness, especially in the hands, in extremities, but especially in hands. Imam utisak kao da sam često i skoro svaki čas pod virusom nekim, kao ono gripozno stanje kad vas volim. I have a feeling that I'm very often under the influence of viruses, like uh, when you get flu and then all the body feel broken. I have this kind of feelings very often, very frequently. Redko kad imam temperaturu povišenu. 
um, I don't have a temperature, high temperature often. Sometimes when I take the temperature, I think I have it, and then and then when I look at the thermometer, it is 35.5 Celsius. And I have a feeling as if I have a temperature. So if I lay down and take a lot of liquid like this and uh, warm liquid, then warm, warm, uh, top, top, da, da. yeah, warm. Then yeah. during the day it pass. Yeah, the, the cold. And uh, that no. feeling of cold and uh, feeling of temperature, which is not actually there. Yes. Uh, often the uh, left eye is getting red and I went quite frequently to ophthalmologist. And when I asked why do I have this redness so often? The doctor said that it could have any something to do with the sinuses or rheumatism. <coughs> these are uh, mostly these problems we are which are coming back uh, and reverting uh, quite frequently or regularly. And I forgot to mention that when I have this allergy attack or whatever it is, when I'm uh, having a lack of uh, air, uh, feeling of suffocation, at the same time as it is connected, I feel uh, uh, gases and uh, blowing of the stomach. And lately I feel acidity. It could be that when I'm eating, I'm dumping uh, food quite quickly because I'm nervous. Because of the nervousness that I feel. And if I can control not to eat them in that moment, or if I eat more frequently in smaller quantities, then I don't have these problems. And when all these crises are over, I don't know how to say, or just give me some relief, and when I start relaxing, then I really feel craving for food. I have an increased appetite, and then I start eating. And lately, I just gained I, I gained a lot of weight. Okay. I don't know if anything else I should have. Maybe I forgot something. Is there anything in your life which you have found difficult to accept? Or you find it difficult to accept now? Znači, da li je bilo nešto što je bilo teško da prihvatite sad? 
Pa bilo je, mislim, to što je bilo te prošlo, a ovo što je sada to, mislim, jednostavno prihvatam tako, jer to tako mora da bude i to je uglavnom. Yes, there was. What it was, it is past. And what it is now, it is difficult, but it is what it is, so I have to accept it. Anything else which you have di uh, found difficult to accept? I don't know. Is there anything which can make you feel bad? On physical, Na fizičkom, emotional, mental level, mentalnom, it doesn't planu, matter. Which are the things which makes you feel, uh, which are, uh, which make you feel bad? Koje su to stvari koje vas čine, koje čine da se osjećate loše? Pa upravo ovo što mislim osjećam te telesne fizičke tegobe jedino mi je to mislim ta preokupacija i mislim kad toga ne bi bilo da bi mi bilo sve u redu. Exactly that what is causing my physical problems and this is my main preoccupation now. Just a moment please. Yes. And if I would get rid of it, then everything would be okay. I do not uh, understand very well. All this, uh, what is causing my physical problems now, I'm quite occupied with it. With, with her physical the problems? Problems, yes. And that is her main problem, and for her it's very difficult to accept. If, if she can get rid of these problems, then she would be okay. Reco, ako sam nešto preskočila ili ovaj... Ok, ok. So, is there anything which can, any influences, any circumstances, anything which make you feel bad? Jel postoje neki utica i neki spica i okolnost i bilo šta što čini da se osjećate loše? When do you feel bad? Kad se osjećate loše? When? Kad? U kojim situacijama? Kad? U ovim i ako eventualno moje dete se poželi da nešto nije u redu, da je bolesno, da ima neki tegoba, uglavnom je to problem. Mostly my problem is when I don't feel well, then physically, then I have this bad feeling. And also if my child complains that he doesn't feel or she doesn't feel well, that something is wrong, that she is ill, that she is ill, or something, then I don't feel, then I feel bad. Okay. Is there anything which you miss in your life, which is not enough, which you need? Je li ima nešto što vam nedostaje u životu, što nemate dovoljno, što vam je potrebno, bilo šta? Pa ima to, mislim, u vezi te materijalne strane, nije mi dovoljno konstantno kao i mnogi ljudi se mučim da preživi. Yes, when there is this money problem, existential security, that I need constantly and I miss and uh, it is like most of the people around me these days here anything else which you miss which you need 
I još nešto što vam nedostaje, što vam je potrebno, što... Pa kad bi toga bilo malo više, bilo sam stromna, što kažu. Znači, novac. Da. If I would have a little bit more money, would be okay. I'm quite a modest person, I don't need too much. Is there anything which helps you feel better, especially when you are not? Dali, especially uh, when you are not uh, feeling well. Je li ima nešto što bi vam pomoglo da se osjećate bolje, naročito kada vam je loše? Pa, ja sam primetila ovaj, da kad odem na odmor na more i to sam opuštena kad nemam ovih svakodnevnih briga, obaveza, da se ipak mnogo bolje osjećam. I have noticed when I go for holiday at the seaside, when I don't have all these problems and daily obligations, then I feel much better. <coughs> Anything else which helps you feel better? I još nešto što vam pomaže da se osjećate bolje. Especially when you are in crisis. Naročito kada ste u krizi. Pa, ja pribegavam tome što se povučem, sednem i odmorim. Mislim, nemam drugog izbora. Uh, I don't have a big choice. What I can do and what I'm doing is that I withdraw and take a rest and stop doing what I'm doing. And then I wait until I feel better. Primetila sam da mogu da funkcionišem tako da pravim neke pauze između posla. I found out that I can function reasonably well if I do breaks between make a breaks what I'm doing that I don't do at one go. I kad nisam pod nekim pritiskom da moram u određeno vreme da stignem. And when I'm not under the pressure that I have to be somewhere at a certain time. At a certain that I'm not under the pressure that I have to be somewhere at a certain time. You know, I have to be there at five. That makes her feel pressed. And then she's having a problem. Makes her feel rest. Uh, rest. Oh, rest. rest. Just a minute. So, if she is under the pressure that she has to be somewhere or do something within a certain period of time, that doesn't yes. feel her good, good. That doesn't make her feel good. I will give one example. I had to go for, uh, at school for a meeting with a teacher. Uh, before that, I was just functioning normally. When I sorry, before before I was due to go, I functioned normally. Functioned yes. normally, everything was okay. Just a moment. And? Ali u tom momentu, na primer, došlo do nagle promene vremena. And in that moment, there was a, a, a sudden change in weather. And immediately I start feeling the symptoms that I was talking earlier about. I, I put a coat on and then uh, I sat down. And I couldn't go out, I didn't dare to go out. Then I took some uh, allopathic uh, medicaments that I get for asthma, like aminophilin. Uh, then I took uh, an organic, which we call the combined powder. Yes. I don't know how to 
Tog ste je zanja u glavi. To relieve that pressure and squeezing in head. A feeling of squeeze swings in hand. And in the same time I was the terrible I was under the terrible pressure if I will make in time to get to school. Yes. So that is just an example how it is, how it looks like. I ja jednostavno ne mogu nikada da se dogovorim ni sa kim, na primjer, da sutra, prek sutra ili pet dana, da se negde vidim, da izađem. And I can't make any arrangement with anyone in advance, not even a day in advance, but maybe five days in advance, to make any arrangement to go out, to make some meeting with friends or whatever, because I never know how it will go. What do you do when you are upset? Šta radite kada ste nesrećni? I ne raspoložen. Jedina i prva pomoć mi je neka komšinica tamo od mene u gradi. Odem do nje i pričam o nekim drugim stvarima. At that moment I have a friend which is close by and then I go to her and then I start talking about some other things. So she has a friend. She has a friend which lives next door. Neighbor. Yeah, but it is not only a neighbor, it's a friend as well. Yes, okay, okay, okay. She has a friend, neighbor, and she goes there and she talks about... And she starts talking some other things, that she gets her mind away. So, so she begins to... To speak, to speak not about her problems, but, something but uh, about other things, things in order to distract, yeah. to divert herself, yes. to oh. forget the problems. Yes. Is that true? Da. Just a moment. <coughs> Okay. A mi dešava mi se kad mi je mnogo teško da zovem sestru telefonom i onda mi ona da neka uputstva šta da radim, da mi bude lakše. And when I'm very, very upset, then I call my sister on the phone and she give me some instructions what to do in order to get some relief. Yes? Are there any foods or drinks which you do not like to eat or drink? I can take almost any food or drinks, but there are certain foods that upset my stomach, so I'm avoiding because it's causing the acidity. Kad sam imala 20 godina, imala sam koprivljač. When I was 20, I had skin brushes. Sorry, sorry. When she was 20, utikarija. Pa dobro, englezi to kažu skin brush. Utikarija. To se desilo posle jedne sekiracije. And that happened after a nervous upset after a situation when she was very upset. That day, uh, for lunch, she had uh, strawberries and uh, green peas. She took afternoon nap. And when she woke up, she was all swollen. She went for um, analysis. And she was told to be on diet to avoid 
in conserves yes. uh, and uh, yeah, canned food. Canned, canned yeah. food, yes, and uh, um, dried meat. Smoked, uh, uh, smoked, smoked meat, yes, smoked meat and uh, pickles and alcohol. and alcohol. Pickles? Yeah, anything pickle, sour. Ah, sour. Sour. Sour and? And anything that uh, contains acidity and uh, uh, also sour milk. So anything that has any kind of acidity. Yes. And she was on diet for one year. And uh, she didn't get the Jukaria anymore afterwards. <coughs> but she had uh, high fevers. Hey. Hey, here, yes? On the next day, on the 28th of the year, I was able to get a little bit of a little and uh, around uh, when she was around 20, she got a exam the first time on 20, uh, around 20. Around 20. 28. She said, 28. 28. 28. Yes, for the first time. She got a exam on a middle finger, on the right hand, on the right hand, on the right hand, middle finger. Yeah. Uh, she got some ointments like uh, hydrocycline. <coughs> and uh, it appeared very frequently. And if I would apply that ointment that I got from the doctor immediately as it appears, then it would withdraw, it would disappear. <coughs> Hydrocycline is a corticoid. Antibiotics are antibiotics. That is ointment that consists of corticosteroids and antibiotics. And if she would apply it immediately, it would disappear. Around 28, she had a very frequent. Um, Ovegnoeve angine, kako, kako da se to... Adenoid. Yes, I understand. Sortro. Antibiotic. And she was treated constantly with the antibiotics. I onda sam postojala stalno... Jedan po jedan sam bivala alergič. And uh, uh, she became allergic to every antibiotic she was given. When she was 34, 35, during the summer time she would have bronchitis and she was treated with antibiotics again. But now I think that it was not bronchitis, I think now that it was uh, either allergy or asthma. And after one uh, uh, pneumonia caused by virus, I spent some time in a hospital uh, where she was uh, treated with allergologists and pulmonologists and then they confirmed that she had allergic asthma. So, are there any foods or drinks which you don't like or you didn't like in the past? Uh, 
Je li ima neke hrane ili pića koje ne volite ili niste voleli? Pa kao dete mi nije prijalo mleko. When I was a little, I didn't like milk. Jedan put me baba naterala pa sam popila vruće mleko i odmah sam sve povratila. Once I was pushed by grandmother to drink a hot milk and I throw it out immediately. Throw it out. A kao dete skoro ništa nisam volila da jedem. And as a child I almost didn't like anything to eat. Slabo sam jela i negde tek oko 13. godine sam počela Only when I was 13, I started to eat normally. And between 20 and 20 something, I started to eat almost everything. And uh, cabbage I never liked. Ever. And uh, cauliflower. Cabbage and cauliflower. And cafioli cauliflower, a cabbage and cucus. Yes, okay. Yeah, that's right. Are there any foods or drinks which you especially like? Je li ima hrane ili piće koje naročito volite? Pa... Ranije, mislim, sam kao dete volila mnogo čokoladu, jela sam dosta čokoladu. As a child, I adored chocolate. I had, I was eating a lot of chocolate. A onda se to nekako promenilo. And then it changed. I negde oko 30. godine sam počela da jedem i volim da jedem i sada ribu. And around 30, I started to eat fish and I like to eat fish and povrće, vegetables, ali sve to bez zaprške i onako lago. In a sort of stewed state without any heavy dressings. Yes. Sada nemam nešto, neku hranu ni priče, nešto što posebno volim. Ima momenata kad mislim nešto baš prije da... Now I don't have anything exceptionally that I like more than When I like something to eat, I just take that. But it's not anything particular. Okay. Are you hot or chilly person? Jel ste zimogroživi ili vam je toplo? Pa negde oko 20. mi je bilo stalno hladno. When I was 20, I was constantly chilly. Stalno sam nosila majicu sa rok kranom. And she was always having a kind of... A sada je suprotno, sad često osjećam da mi je toplo, da mi je toplo, da mi je toplo, da mi je toplo, da mi je toplo. Često tako otvaram prozor i umstiram pa. And very often I open windows and getting fresh air. Na momente je hladno, uglavnom je toplo, na momente je hladno. Da, da, da. Have you ever got any influenza vaccination? Jeste li ikad bili vakcinisani od gripa? Yes. Yes. When? Kada? Jod. Ne mogu tačno da se sjetim, ali... I can't say exactly, but... More or less? Otprilike. Tako, 25, 30... Godine. Between 25 and 30. When I was... Between 25 and 30. 25 and 30. Yes, in that period. She can't say exactly, but she... Yes, 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 okay, okay. Can we spend? Can we spend? Yes. 
20 years ago. Uh, this vaccination was uh, in the form of injection or uh, drops in the nose? Yes, or within, within a month she was revaccinated. <coughs> So 20 years ago she got influenza vaccination. Influenza. Uh, okay. Has she ever got any respiratory vaccination? Similar to Respivax, Pneumovax, Bronchovax, something like that. No. But uh, when she had a strong flu, colds, uh, with the nose sneezing, then she would take something called Sinasec that would cut the sneezing. They, they were in, it was in a tablet. It was quite popular some 15 years ago on this market. Okay. Uh, any hormonal treatment, any yeah. contraceptive pills in yes, her life? Yes, contraceptive pills in her life? No. Only when she was pregnant, she was <coughs> taking... I don't know how many... She was taking a 10 or 15, a 5 or 10 progesterone, progesterone okay. injection, injections. It's enough. <laughs> okay, this is enough. You don't need any more. Uh -huh. So, uh, Prepar. Antihistamines, any antihistamines? Da li ste primali neke antihistamine? Bronal sam pila, astemisan. When did she began to take antihistamines for the first time? Kad ste prvi put dobili antihistamin? To kad sam imala te koprivnjače. When she was 20, when she got that urticaria. That was the first time. Cortisols. Uh, well, I don't know what is the what Okay, she has taken that remedy, that uh, medication. Uh, and Sinopen she was also taking. What about flus? Uh, she mentioned already, but anyway, I would like to ask. Does she remember if she had ever had a very bad attack of flu? And if so, when? I kad, i ako je imala kada? Ne, se ćemo se da imamo baš... Ili prehlade, ili ja ne prehlade. Prehlade često. Cold, yes, very often. I can't make a distinction between the flu and the cold. Ok. Have you ever got scabies? Jeste li ikad imali šugu? Nisam. Ne. No. Gonorrhea. No. Gonorrhea. Syphilis. Syphilis. No. Okay. Okay. 
So we have asked all the routine questions. Znači, postavili smo sva rutinska pitanja uobičajena. Without interrupting the patient. Bez prekidanja pacijenta. Uh, except in the cases where I didn't understand something because of the language. Osim kada sam prekinuo jer nisam nešto razumeo ili nisam bio siguran da sam dobro razumeo zbog prevođenja. So what do we do now is that we have to read ono što this sad once, treba... once the whole case. Ono što sad treba da uradimo je da makar jedan put pročitamo ceo slučaj. In order to get the general idea of the case and to to da bi stekli opšti utisak slučaja. To notice the most important points. I da bi ovaj podvukli uočili najvažnije tačke. Uh, yes. She was treated homeopathically. Okay, we will speak about it later. <laughs> Dobro. O, later. O, o, o načinu lečenja i tretmanima govorit ćemo kasnije. Sprizavao. To give the remedy during the aggravation phase. Naročito je ovaj, dobro i naročito pomaže da se da lek u toku faze pogoršanja. Everywhere you will read that it is wrong to give. Svuda ćete čitati da je to potpuno pogrešno. But but just try it and they'll, then tell me and tell the, 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 the people who write these things have they tried. Ali ovaj pokušajte to i onda mi kažite i kažite ljudima 